Dick, you and I have waited all year for this. It's the most exciting, action-packed two weeks in all of sports, and it tips off in today's game between the Drake Bulldogs and the Washington State Cougars. Hey, Brad, the NCAA tournament is the reward. After a long season of practices, tough games, and all of those other rigors, the tournament is their pinnacle. The Cougars should have a cakewalk tonight, Dick. What are the keys for them, you think? Hey, the keys for them should be straightforward tonight. First of all, get the ball on the interior. See if you can get their big men into foul trouble. Next, make sure you take care of the rock. Turnovers kill momentum. Finally, play every defensive possession like it's the last. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court, and we'll see how this one plays out. He puts it in with contact and all. Both teams are looking to get something going here. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Thinks about the shot. He uses the shot fake. Jump hook from the low post. They still don't score. Basket falls despite the contact. We're going to move it around the perimeter. On the outside, Nickel receives the pass. There's a bad pass right to the defender. They go into the low block. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure. Just enough to force the steal. Patience with the ball as the offense re... He makes the block. Moving it around the perimeter. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. And up. Great play to take that to the basket. Here's one more look at it. The defender is still applying great ball pressure, Brad. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. With the hook. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Trying to feed the low block for two. Perfectly executed. Look at that spacing. Number 20 handles the pass. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block. I'm telling you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. Down inside, number 34, pump fakes. And he'll kick it back outside. Takes the shot off the baseline. Off the rim and no good. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Nickel handles the feed. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. The center receives the ball and the slam. Now trying to feed the low block. Tries to get the D to bite. Fakes it. Executes the baby hook. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. Ball goes out of play. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. Pass down low. There's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step, very slow. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. On the outside. He shoots from the top of the circle. 
Makes the shot. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. And off the mark. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? A high screen. He shoots from the top of the key. Gets it to go. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. we got a good one going. He shoots from the top of the key. Nice job of using the screen to get open for that good shot. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays it where he gets good close position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. You talk about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. To get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Trying to draw some contact, and he scores despite the hack. Both teams are looking to get something going here. The skip pass is picked off. Working it around the perimeter. Up and inside. Hard foul. This crowd is unbelievable today. Oh, they're emotional. They're packed. They're jammed. You can't find an empty seat. There's a double team waiting there. Stolen away. Ross is feeling good. Hey, Brad, I love players that play with emotion. That's why I love the college game. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Is that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. High post screen, gonna use it. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a the box. They work it back to the outside. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. He went right through that double team. Hey, let's see if they decide to double next time down. Goes up for two. He kept his dribble and ran the defender right off the screen for a beautiful jump shot, Brad. Looking for contact. Sinks the shot. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Not, get, not getting enough motion on offense. Here they are in transition, Brad. High post flasher is open. Shoots. Sinks it. Defensively, low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. Uh, terrific job creating the opportunity, and it really converts an offensive transition. Turnaround jumper, and he missed. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. 
He's money with a shot. Gave it up. Jumps into the defender. They still don't score. Goes. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Now they work it around the perimeter. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. On the dribble, gives it up. He goes for three. He hits it. Working around the perimeter. Let's it fly. That was nice. The Cougars seemingly have a solid number of seniors in their lineup, Dick. Hey, Brad, you know I love seniors. By the time they're in their fourth year of eligibility, they are solid and reliable basketball players. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Gave it up. That spin move's not going to work against the defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Picked out of the air. Looking for a good shot. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Trying to draw the foul. He gets the bucket to fall. The pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. He's pounding the ball with a deck. Where's he going? It looks as though they have a shooter spotting up. Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. Drains it. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear it clearly down here. The coach is stressing, go inside, go inside. They've been affected all night long that way. What an asset to have, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you one thing, you better be able to establish post play because that gives you inside, outside action. On the dribble, gives it up, tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, how about this crowd? They're enjoying this close matchup, and there's nothing better than a close game during tournament time. There was no doubt about that one. They'll work it around the arc. Unloads. Got it. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. He shows the sweet touch.
They're making a living right now at the three-point line. Let's see if they can keep this up for the remainder of the game. Look at that spacing. Got a wide open look. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Makes the shot. Almost lost a basketball. on the shot clock. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, that's silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Oh, Got a nice screen. Perfectly executed. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Takes away the pass. With a deep shot from outside. Great job of running the defender into the screen for a nice jay. On the outside. Puts it up, looking for contact. Perfectly executed. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. He attempts a jump hook. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket, not quick enough, and a great reaction by the defensive post player. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Defensively down on the low block, and there's a steal. A terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. The crowd will be on cloud nine if they can put some points up on the board. In the paint. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Gave it up. He gets the rejection on the dribble, gives it up. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. For the bucket, and off the mark. They're working around the perimeter. Moving it around the perimeter. He tries the three ball. Washington State are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to drop. He buries the shot. Picks up.
Gets off the pass. Pushes it up. And the ball goes out of play. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. Up fake. He strips him clean. It's a fast break possibility. The ball goes out of bounds. Looking for the foul. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're anticipating, you've got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. They've left him completely alone. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Picked off. Two for one opportunity. Looking for a good shot. Intercepted. Leans in, drops the bucket despite the harm. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Shot clock is dead. On the outside, jumped in front to take it away. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. And a momentary look from three-point land. Knocks it down. And the ball goes out of bounds. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover, Dick. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. He tries the jumper. In and out. Ooh. Tough luck. Easy one. At the end of the first half, the Cougars are up by 12. In your opinion, Mr. Vital, what's this game's EA Sports play of the half? The player nailing a shot at the buzzer is my halftime highlight. All right, Dick, let's get back to the action as the two teams are just about ready to start the second half. Washington State was on fire in that first half shooting from the field, partner. I'll tell you, fire's not the word, man. They were blistering, just burning it up. We'll see if they can keep it up in the second half. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? Thanks, Aaron. Ball goes out of play. Dick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far? Hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatches. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover game. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. High post flashes for the opportunity. Nice high post screen. Picks off the lazy pass. Dumps it in. Too much. That's a foul. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vital, but not looking that good. I tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. High post flashes for the ball handler. Ross in the paint. There's the trap. 
He shoots from the top of the circle. He comes up empty. He gets the bucket. That was absolutely phenomenal. There they come with a double team to stop it. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to drive the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. He goes for the trifecta. Watch the replay coming up. <laughs> Tries for two. Perfectly executed. The Cougars lead by nine. They work the perimeter. In the paint. Jumps in. He puts it in with contact and all. Working it around the perimeter. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Gave it up. He went for the steal in the post and he missed it, Dick. Oh, I'll tell you one thing. What a poor job defensively. He gambled. And he'll kick it back outside. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Here's a flash from the post up high. Unloads a three. He gets it to fall. From the top of the circle, it sticks. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. He buries it. They'll work it around the arc. For the deuce. Perfectly executed. Drips in clean. He gets the bucket to fall. Keep your eye right on the ball here. The center takes the pass. Great play to take that to the basket. the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Drake are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. The ball goes out of bounds. Watch out, Dick. Their emotions seem to be getting the better of them. the dribble gives it up fakes a jumper now the turnaround jumper I tell you what a nice turnaround jump shot soft as velvet fading away and possibly again they work it around the perimeter for the bucket sweet looking shot he is super he really is There's the screen up on top. The Bulldogs are down by eight.
The defender's doing a great job of applying wall pressure. Has a nice look at the basket. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. That's been moved, not going to work against a defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Jumped in front to take it away. Looking for a good shot. From right at the circle. He can't get the J to go despite running off the nice screen. The center with the ball. And in and out. Perfectly executed. The Bulldogs are behind by seven. Picks off the pass. the shot if he wants it. Number 20 is called for the foul. First personal foul. Look at that celebration. He is pumped. He's trying to pump up the fans too. He's saying, hey, come along for the ride. Hey, hey, he wants everyone to get up. This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. Makes his first. Sinks both of them. Moving it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was locking on the box. For two. Up. Easy one. Gave it up. Picks off the lazy pass. the dribble gives it up for the bucket they just can't seem to miss they found a serious struggle with their shooting Brad they've got a player spotting up on the three and has it rejected defense did a great job with the block shot Takes away the pass. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. And now there's a whistle and a foul. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, after all, this is the NCAA Finals. In talking with both coaches before the game, they figured it would be a close game from start to finish. I'm certainly looking forward to the game's ending. All right, thanks, Aaron. No doubt. He makes his third. They're shooting extremely well from the strike tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. Gave it up. Steals the pass. On 
on the dribble, gives it up. Picked out of the air. Nick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. And the ball goes out of bounds. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Goes up for two. Basket falls despite the contact. The power forward gets the ball. Double team now, that angle. The ball goes out of play. Something going in a hurry here. Yeah, call a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see Brawl Man. That's essential when you play on there and you front it. He takes it away. Some contact. Pressure that basketball. It's stolen. Here we go on the break. And the shot blocks. Poor job on the offensive end. Great job defensively rotating to the basketball. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented boards out there. Yeah, that helps. He comes away with it. They push it up on the break. Washington State are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they're going to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. Double team looking for contact. Sinks it. Show me that one again. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Strips the ball. Jumps into the defender. And he scores despite the hand. They'll work it around the arc. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He shoots from the top of the circle. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. He took the defender into the screen, but couldn't get the inside shot to drop. How's the front court productivity tonight, Dick? You know, Brad, basketball is a big man's game. If you have a few in your team and are active and energetic, it makes your team that much better. Ultimately, you want all of your players to be productive, and an inside presence will separate your team from others. He hits it. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. On 
the outside. He fouled him. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnovers. I'll tell you one thing. That leads you to the exit side. No question. You get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy. I love that. He buries it. Replay, please. There's a double team waiting there. We're going to move it around the perimeter. He intercepts it. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Had an open guy in the post and went the other way. Tries one from three-point land. The Bulldogs are trailing by 14. On the dribble, gives it up. Good job defensively. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. I don't think that's the guy they want shooting that shot. That shot is definitely overbiased. They're working around the perimeter. Now the kick out from three point territory. Nice shot. Goes for the deep one. The Cougars have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. Jumped in front to take it away. Pump fakes. Shoots it. Drains the shot. Roll it back again, fellas. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. They're working around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Takes a three. He shows the sweet touch. Picks off the pass. Gave it up. That was a high post screen. Great shot block right there. They had some good movement on the offensive side. the dribble gives it up too physical that one puts the personal in personal picks up the foul I tell you poor play defensively look at the facial expression he goes to the line for the first time first shot is good Nick they're really getting it done from the line tonight aren't they and a surprisingly collective effort Brad He makes them both. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vitale. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. Steele go up the other way, get a layup. Takes the pass in the paint. Tries for two.
There's the fake. Fakes the shot. Nothing but here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Great defense. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially wants a three. He rejects it. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. The small forward takes the feed. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. He drains it. Gave it up. Picked off. What a great strip. He hits it. Momentary look from three-point land. Got it! We need an instant replay for this one. Takes it off him. On the dribble, gives it up. Now they work it around the perimeter. From the top of the circle, he makes the shot. Dump it inside. He's open if he wants the shot. Tempo to game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Looking for a good shot. Gave it up. Picked off. The point guard gets the pass. From three-point range. Great shot. You're going to be seeing this one all week. Get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He's got some room. He draws a foul. Wow, Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. They're working around the arc. Up and inside. Looking for a good shot. Look at that space. Takes away the pass. He shoots from downtown. Man, he lured the defender to the screen, giving him time to shoot the sweet J. He throws it deep. Dick, you've said it so many times, survive and advance. Well, one survived and will advance. The other one's going home. Well, I tell you, they won this game, Brad, when you look at it and analyze it because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. Washington State is off to a strong start with an opening round victory here. Hey, keeping the momentum will be crucial as they have one day off before they head back to the hardwood for their second round game. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.